hello sewing bodies welcome to a new tutorial so we are going to be sewing this lace with um scallop at the edge of the center front so it's going to be a quick tutorial so here is a pattern paper we're using a dark lace bodies in this tutorial go ahead and mark the depth of your neckline all right and then you can decide to shift the neck point as i have done on my pattern paper i haven't done that you're going to connect that to around your arm area because this particular style is going to be having a yoke so the yoke is um the, the length of the yoke is actually the depth of the neckline all right so you cut that off and keep it aside we're going to be coming back to it so for now we're going to go ahead and cut the rest of the pattern so for this pattern we are not i'm not drafting the full um the entire length of the dress i'm going to be extending it so i'm going to do the same yoke i did for the front i'm doing it for the back although the yoke for the back is not really necessary i'm doing this because i found out that the the length of my fabric won't carry me you know won't do the job so i needed to improvise by drafting yoke for the back pattern so if you have enough fabric so this fabric here is like three yards of fabric so i'm trying to manage it that is why i have yoke at the back okay so here is me arranging the fabric okay so i'm placing the center front on this scallop edge you see before i place the fabric i make sure i arrange it and the scallop uh matching very well okay then i pin down my pattern paper so like i said you can see the pattern is short and the dress the, the fabric is longer so here is me extending the length okay so at the bottom there i just added about three inches yeah three inches so it can be the a line can have good effects at the down part so i'm adding add your necessary sewing allowance here i'm adding just one inch you may want to add more or less but whatever you do ensure you don't add less than half inch all right so here is me cutting out the the dress so i'm cutting without the yoke first i'm still going to come back and cut the yoke so before i cut the yoke here is a here is the back i'm trying to explain to you that i'm going to be cutting off the yoke the length for the yoke for the back yoke is seven inches so that is what i have wrote there and i'm labeling it it's really important to write on your pattern paper <coughs> excuse me so i'm taking that right off okay so guys if you have watched to this point and you are yet to subscribe to my channel kindly do so and support your girl thank you so the, the the pattern for the back is actually not necessary because is basically the same thing with the front as you can see i just match it together to show you that is basically the same thing so i've already gone ahead and placed the front pattern on the back the back the difference between the front and the back is that the back is going to be having zipper allowance which i'm going to be adding at the end of the day but the cutting of the front and the cutting of the back they are basically the same thing okay they are basically the same thing here you see me arranging my fabric so i don't have any one longer than the other at the end of the day okay so now i'm going to go ahead add my half inch which i've already added all right so the front and the back has been um you know cut and set aside so i'm going to arrange for the front yoke now as you see me arranging my scallop edge you do so on your lace okay so you want to place your pattern paper your yoke pattern you place it 
along the scallop edge like that there is no need for sewing allowance on that edge all right so just ensure that you place it like so so it you know matches well then don't forget to add your half inch sewing allowance to the yoke length so you can it will enable you to join it back to the other part of the dress we have already cut if you remember we added half inch to that part when we're cutting the the larger part all right so do the same thing and add your sewing allowance for the armhole and the shoulder line okay so i'm going to keep this aside so i'm going to do the same thing for the back the difference between the front and the back is that the back is going to be having zipper allowance okay you're going to be having zipper allowance don't forget the yoke for the back is optional also this scallop i did for the front yoke i'm not going to be doing it for the back because the back does not really need the scallop all right so here is my trimming of all my excesses i've already added my zip allowance and the sewing allowance meaning the part i'm going to join to the um the rest of the bodies i have cut earlier on so don't forget add your armhole allowance and your shoulder allowance okay so this is what our pieces looks like after cutting so i'm going to take my pins off so you can see what it looks like so yes you look like this as well so don't forget your back the yoke for the back is optional so here is the main gist the um the, the yoke and the rest of the front bodies so you're going to strategically place this um, scallop edge that means the yoke the lace i'm using is kind of transparent is lighter if i'm using a thicker net you will hardly notice that there is yoke but i'm going to try my best to you know give it a good press after joining so you make sure that your your scallop is well arranged so it does not look distorted after you have fixed it so here is me taking my time to arrange the yoke to the down part of the bodies so my scallop can be well um, arranged okay so try to use your pin so i'm using pin here carefully so once i see that what i did before was not um was not doing it for me i had to remove the pin and do it again so after when i see that okay what i've done here is looking good then i continue pinning the rest and i'll do the same thing basically the same thing i'll repeat it for the other parts you can also fold yours like this to see if it's making sense so i think i like what i'm seeing here so i'm going to go ahead and you know pin okay so that's that for the front we are at the back parts now so the back does not really have much just join the yoke back to the rest of the of the back bodies you know and pin and after pinning we're going to take it straight to the sewing machine now i'm done joining the back so i'm going to take it to my ironing table and give it a good press i'll do that off camera here is what it looks like after ironing so the next thing to do is to use your bias tape to tape around the neckline and fix your zip for the back then keep aside now moving on to the front i've gone ahead to join the yoke for the front and i'm going to give it a good press i haven't done that i'm going to reduce the sewing allowance to 
about quarter of an inch the scope is for our seam our joke seam there to be less visible so you trim off your sewing allowance to about quarter of an inch or less all right now lay your fabric on the table making sure it's on the right side trim off any thread dangling around now you're going to overlap one scallop on the other just lightly all right that is what you're going to be stitching together little little stitches from beginning to the end and ensure that your scallops are lined properly okay so i'm going to do that and show you what i have later on so you're going to be moving on to the sleeve part okay so i've gone ahead to cut the short part of the sleeve it's not really short it's like from the shoulder point to elbow i've cut that so i use my already made pattern sleeve pattern to achieve that so now for the part that has fullness i'm going to first cut the fitted part of it so that is, that part is about four inches okay so i'm measuring from where my short sleeve stops i'm measuring that four inches so i'm going to place another pattern you know underneath like i said i was managing this fabric I'm, I'm, i really really you know tried to maximize this fabric so i place another white fabric that's gently laid there underneath it because if i should work with the same fabric it won't be enough so i was trying to get that four inches part so i'm going to just roll it out you know i like the four inches and then i will add half inch sewing allowance I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to really write on the fabric because it's white at the end of the day i don't want to have pencil markings all over it so i've cut out the four inches and i will trim off the excess on the side as well okay so don't forget to add your side seam to your sleeve as well so this is a straight part on that straight part is where that joining is where i'm going to add that rough food um like ball i don't know how to explain it that's where i'm going to add it to okay so that is the pieces there this is me demonstrating what to do to that pieces so now you have the idea so now i'm just going to be cutting the bottom part of the sleeve because after that um what's that thing called again like that ball part of the sleeve there's still a kind of straight joining strip like like band yes like band so i'm trying to achieve the band here okay so the band is starting from after the second stage of the sleeve <laughs> i don't know if this makes sense but if not try to watch again the video is self-explanatory without any voiceover on it okay so of course that also here is me you know laying out the sleeve the short sleeve the gathered part and the band okay so i'm gonna head to fix the neckline of the back i fixed the zipper also so it's now to join the shoulder line the side same okay and then work on the sleeve i've gone ahead to do the ruffle on the sleeve so i'm going to couple the rest of camera because this video is already too long so we have come to the end of this tutorial so tell me what you think about this beautiful dress if you have stayed up to this point thank you so much for watching kindly hit the subscribe button like and share okay so you'll be the first person to notice when we have a new tutorial uploaded 
thank you so much for watching so here is where i'll be dropping the cutting for today so i'm going to leave you you know to admire this beauty to the end of the video see you in my next one bye guys